Okay, garden vlog number eight. Um, and I now have a brand new mower, a new manual one. Um, we ordered it on Wednesday, but like got it uh, sent to the stores, and then my dad picked it up earlier today. So um, sort of around like, midday or whatever. Um, and it's just been set up. I've used it for the first time in the back, and the back hasn't really grown like enough to get to the height that I want it to yet. But it's trimmed a few bits, and it seems fine. The blades definitely sound different to the old one. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's literally like I reckon it comes from the same factory. It's like made in the same place. Cause it's got the same model number, like the same sort of sticker, but it's just like got a different brand name and colour. So it's literally the same but this this time because it's new. I've actually got a bag for it. And yep, obviously there's a fly going to it, it's bright yellow, like a flower. I'm not really sure why they chose this colour, they could have, just, could have just kept with the old green because this now just attracts all the flies when it's all hot. But yeah, um, <coughs> this is it. It is literally the same as the old one. It has the same height adjustments, it's literally the same. Just a different colour and different brand. But I wanted this one because it, well, it's the only one I really liked. And it's nostalgic because this is the channel. This channel, if you go back to videos from like 2014, um, you'll see that I've actually got one of these mowers, but it's in green. So literally, nothing has changed apart from the colour. I don't know if there were colours on these bits back then. I feel it was just matched with this, but it's literally the same. Literally the same thing, just different colour. Logo is still the same. So it's quite nostalgic, even though it's only from like six years ago, but still. This is my first one, it's like this is where I came from. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this now. Last time you saw me do it, oh, I can't remember when it was. Whenever it was, I think it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. So it's been five days actually. It hasn't really grown much, but I only done up to uh, just past that little slab of concrete where the gate is. And the rest was just left from the time before that, which was probably like Wednesday or whatever. Um, so yeah, I will cut it all now on just the default height, which is the default, which is probably about three centimeters. So this bit, we'll just literally just trim it a tiny little bit, and the rest up there will cut it a bit more. So um, yeah, hasn't grown much this time because we've had quite a lot of like hot weather. Not like really hot, but more like. We haven't had any rain recently, like, because it's been warm and sunny, like, for the last five days. But I guess it's good, because it's the summer, obviously, but our turf is, like, to die in the front now, so they need to be watered all the time. And literally, I just, I just finally get a nicer-looking garden. Like, in its, in its grown period, it's, it was all, like, perfect green, thick and lush. As soon as I cut it, it all just looks like it's, it's been there for a while. And now, because it's drying up, you can see, if you look from, like one of our bedroom windows from the front you can see like all the actual turf pieces and you know you used to be able to see that because it's so, still quite patchy so um, yeah in September I think I'll get the Wilco pick and mix seed or whatever it's called if they still do it get a big bag of it it's like where you now, from what I remember in the past they have like two big like big sacks and like you basically One's more expensive, one's cheaper, and you basically weigh out how much you want. You put it in like a bag and put it on a scale. Weigh how much you want, and I think you pay for like how much it weighs or something. So you can, I guess it's probably better value than just buying a box. So I think I'll probably do that. I get a larger amount so I can just fill a couple bits in the back garden. Don't really need to worry about all of it because it'll be probably behind the trampoline and probably will be dug over to put that on it. Um, yeah, and I want to, I'd want to fill that in, um, with seeds once, because that was the initial dig the other week, but I want to eventually, once I get this, probably in September or something, I want to, um, just refine it a bit more, get it more nice, even level, so it's the same as the concrete and stuff, um, and then I'll probably fill maybe a few bits in here, up by that drain, and then I want to completely overseed the front, because I want to have, like, a perfect green thick, lawn and so it's thick enough so I can stripe it.
on the high set on here because at the moment it doesn't do anything. I want it to be like nice and green, like very green. To basically look how it did when it was in its growing period. So yeah, enough talking. I am going to cut all of this and then I'll get back to you after. No one really watched this. I had like two comments the other day and 13 views, but I don't know if they actually watched the video or cared or if they were trying to advertise their channel because sometimes it's just that. So, uh, yeah. See you all. So I've cut this. Um, I emptied the bag so I can... I didn't show you, but it didn't fill up so much, obviously. But I've done it all. Um, first I'm using the bag on this for probably well since I've actually started doing it. So the other one, I think the bag probably got thrown away last year by accident. But yeah, because now it's bagged it up and it's a new mower, so maybe the roll is a bit more effective because it's new. You can't really see it from looking this way because there isn't really sun, but if you look at it from the other way, you can kind of see a hint of stripe. Um, you obviously can't see anything like going from this way. But yesterday, when we were at the beach, there was this like, must be like this flat or something, a hotel or whatever. Um, and it was being cut, the grass looks quite dead, but it, it was just, just freshly cut with probably like a hater or something with roll on the back, and the stripes are so strong, like you can literally see them. If you look at it from the side, you can like see the dark bit. Yeah, it's literally so strong, when you look at it from the side, it literally pushes it over in different directions. It's like, if that was actually like really green, that would actually look like really good. But yeah, so, you can kind of see stripe but obviously the grass probably would need to be a bit longer but yeah so that is that's been cut it was more easy to do that bit because it was more just a little trim like only a few bits of ground bits here but apart from that it's just a bit of a trim this bit it hasn't been cut for probably over a week maybe like 10 days this bit was longer because i think this bit along here was shorter um, on the streamer, but yeah, it definitely picked up more here. I think these bits are different because this was seeded like six years ago or something, so that's why it's more looks more fragile. This bit I'll definitely seed once I get it. If I end up getting it seeded, hopefully I will. Um, turn this bit all over and move the weeds and just seed it. So hopefully it can grow because I don't know if that was grass a couple of years ago. It's just died off like a heat wave or something or. So I remember once, there was, a couple of years ago actually, there was actually some road works here, I think it's to do with this drain, it might have been this one, and I think some of it was dug up, I can't remember, there was something, or it might not have been, so it might have been that, and it just never grew back. Um, definitely edge that at some point, I keep on saying that, but I'll do that later on in the year, in the space, because that'll take more time, it's going over the stream easily, that quickly. Um, you trim a few bits of those. There's some spiky bits that just come out, stick straight out, so that will need to go at some point. Just cut a few bits off, put in the brown bin. But yeah, I'm going to do this person's front now because this hasn't been done for six days, and I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so I don't want to like. Wait, even look. It hasn't grown too much, obviously, the, the weather, but you know, you don't want to leave it because you know, it could be like, like that for the next. Um, couple of days it could be all just rainy and or wet. You just you don't want to leave it too long and then it was like grow like crazy. But I reckon I reckon it'll probably just be a bit rainy tomorrow and then it'll be like drying up again the next day. So we've got like a picnic or something in the town park for my brother's birthday. His birthday yesterday turned ten. That's why I went to the beach. So yeah we've got like a picnic or something tomorrow with like the family. Um not tomorrow, um, Sunday. It was supposed to be tomorrow, I think, but then obviously the weather. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully that would be Sunday that we'll go. Sunday at like midday or something, and we'll decide to be there for a little while. Uh, have some food and then some other stuff, and then probably just um, go home. Yeah, so this one I'll do, it's been six days, literally just under a week, last Saturday I've done it, 
So, you, as you probably might not remember, I might do. I tried to do a stripe experiment literally the day before I cut it, and now it sticks like it's ruined. It was that bit? Um, I'll zoom in, and you can see that light a bit. That was where I tried to. I think that might have been when I done the stripe thing with the broom or something, or whatever, or the roller, or the other mower. It might have flattened it a bit too much, just killed it. Um, it is growing back. It's like. Five, five days, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, five days growing back. We've got some dead pieces. This bit's more dead. Yeah, it is growing. But yeah, I'll leave it for a couple of weeks. Water it every night, which I've been doing. Hello. And hopefully, and then. Later on in the year, I'll just get some seed. Hopefully, have a fork by then. Just poke holes in it all, um, and just uh, overseed it all, water it all the time. Hopefully, it should grow really nice and thick and green. And I'll keep it. Want to keep it like that as well. Like literally in a couple of years, I want it still look like it's still new. Not, not like you've done the turkey seed and then after a couple of years you don't really care anymore. So that's what happened to the old one. It was all nice and green in like 2014. Then, as soon as I figured out. On my original challenge mower, that you could adjust the blade lower, I started cutting it at like 1.8 centimeters or whatever in like October, and I kept on doing that well, until I got that massive greenworks in the mower that died at 2.5. So I did do it a bit longer, but I didn't have that for long because the wheel broke. Because there was like four wheels on it, there was like two of like the main ones, and there was like two small ones in the back with the height adjustment thing them just broke it actually just like fell off or something while I was in the middle of doing a garden over there. Um so yeah then I went replaced it with an iron all 40 centimetres like a blue one and that went down to 1.5 and I just done it on that. And yeah after a while it just died. It just well it didn't really die it just went bad. It didn't really grow as grass it was made as weeds and it didn't, didn't look green anymore. So I basically just wanted it to look all nice and green again. Um, so yeah, I'll do this. I wanted to do the one next to it as, but obviously by the time I get around there, typical that parents are in the kitchen. I don't want to do it with them there, so. If I'd done that first, then yeah, I would have. But yeah, so I'll do this one now. The bag, first time with the bag for me, since I've been doing it again. So, probably give it a better stripe effect. Yeah, so I've done this one, and yeah. Definitely a stripe it. Maybe the roller's a bit heavier than the other one, but only a little bit. Or maybe it's, I don't know. It looks slightly different because it's new. It's probably not scuffed up. Maybe it's a bit heavier. And maybe because I'm using the bag, so I don't know. But yeah, definitely a stripe things better so far. Like, and the other one you just couldn't really see. You could just see, like, the tracks where the mower's been, not, like, stripe. So, maybe it'd be best on the front, so I can finally do it again. Um, yeah, this has been done. Picked up a bit, not loads, but it's like five days worth of growth. Not five days, six days. And obviously, it hasn't grown much. It needed a little bit of a trip, but not like badly. If it was just left for like a month or something and it was like rained so much, then it, yeah, it would probably flip the whole bag. Off I don't know, side bit and this or something, and yeah. Yeah, this has all been done now. Looks better. No, I don't... Mm, you can't really see, like, any harsh stripe lines where the mower has been. Sometimes I don't really like that. Sometimes it doesn't look natural. Like, it could last like a week and like, it looks like it hasn't really changed for much like it has. Um, but yeah, this is. It really depends. Like, I think you need the right type of grass to do it. And it always works best when the grass is cut longer as well, so it might just. It basically just seems like it's just so flat. Like, it won't really. I mean, it's good stripes, those ones, because after like a week or something, it might have not grown like much, but it, it still looks like it has recently been done. It won't be as strong, but it looks like it has been done recently. 
with like a role like this in a couple of days it like, hasn't been done like nothing because really yeah so it really depends sometimes they look good but it depends on like the type of grass and on dead grass no it just doesn't so it's just yeah it's done on green grass yeah, it'll be fine these are different because this is probably cut probably like two centimeters shorter than or like a couple centimeters shorter than that that but yeah so there's stripes in there that will last a couple of days and it also depends on the type of grass so if this is like really tall thick grass or something then i could probably get quite vibrant stripes in there like i remember doing this with my original one on this like 2014 or something wherever six years ago i don't want this double wide you can actually see it the grass is probably better quality back then but still Um, so yeah, I think that's probably that will be it for today because it's going into the evening now. Um, I mean, at least I got these two done. There probably won't be anything tomorrow because it's probably going to rain. So I've done the back as well. I'll probably show you that. Um, eventually, on my other channel, or maybe I have to do it on this one as well, but wherever it will be, or I'll upload it on both. I want to film like maybe a comparison, comparing both of them. They won't really be that fair because one of them's got the grass bag, one of them hasn't. But I think maybe I'll just do it like both of them cut him without the grass bag, which one's better? Or, I don't know. Basically the same thing, but it's just one's like pretty much two years old, and the other one's like brand new. Um, it'd basically just be like I'll let a bit of I'll take it to a bit of grass that hasn't been done for a little while. I don't know, maybe I'll let this grow for... I'll let this grow for a little while. Not too long, maybe just like a week or whatever. Um, then I'll basically just like cut one strip with, like, I don't know, the challenge or something, or the, the sovereign. I'll do one strip with one of them, I'll do one the other, and just basically just see... Like, I won't, like, put it back and push, like, you know, sometimes you have to, like... You can't just, like, push it and then you go back. You have to sort of cut bits a few times. That's after the old ones. The blades aren't as sharp as this. It's obviously brand new. So I want to, so I want to see if like, I can just push it, like no like pullbacks and pushes. Like, just push it straight down, and or maybe just up to there or something. Push it. Just going straight down. Do one line, and then do another line with the challenge or something. See which one gives the best quality, like the current blade situation. Like if there's going to be any bits left behind from the sovereign having me cut or so this one I don't need to actually put it back I reckon if we get some longer grass I will but on normal grass with this I'll probably have to all this I'll probably have to pull the other one back a few times to get these bits sometimes it misses um, this one I'll just push it back and forth like a normal mower um, so yeah and maybe I'll just do like a little just literally just them side by side or something um but apart from that it's literally the same mower except this one's a bright yellow and got a different name on it and it's literally the same same model same design literally everything's the same same height adjustments the same the sticker bit's the same but it's just but obviously the sovereign one's got the sovereign branding on it and this one's got the challenge and the sovereign one's red and it's got red um, screw things, and this one's yellow. So it's literally probably made in the same place, with just different colours and brands, just for the diff the two different company, two different like shops that sell them. But apart from that, if this was just bare bones, it's like this is just bare, like no colour, or just whatever the natural colour is of this, but it's probably just like the normal metal colour, or whatever. No stickers. It would literally just be the same mower. So whatever you're buying, if you want to buy the challenge one or if you want to buy the sovereign one, no matter there might be a price difference, like £10 different, you're buying the same thing. You're literally buying the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. It's not as if one is like completely different to the other. It's literally the same thing. Like this is literally the same since 2014. So nostalgic. Um, I could do an update on the front. Um... I think some more flower heads have died because it's been so warm recently. Like not like, really hot, but it's been so warm it's like not really letting the flowers like survive. 
So I don't know if they will actually survive for long, like the whole plant, or if it's just the natural, the natural uh, flower thing where you pick the heads off every, I don't know, however often it needs it, and then more grow, or if these will actually just die off at some point. But yeah, this was cut last Sunday on the highest setting, and it is lit now. So, and it's just starting to grow back now. You see, you've got these bits here. You got these, you got bits along there. So it, it is growing. It is coming back green, but it's just quite slow. So it will definitely need just a lot of water. Just washing every night, every evening. Don't cut it for a couple of weeks. Maybe leave it. I'll see what it's like just before we go away on holiday in like two weeks. Um, keep them washing it, don't cut it and see what it looks like oh we've got a weed, that will have to be taken out that's probably the first weed we've got I don't want, it'll have to be taken out soon because I don't want weeds in this because I've literally spent all this time and then I get a weed but that's probably understandable because there's so many patches that's probably is going to happen but once I've like done it all it will be fine so this bit this bit actually did decide to die in its growing process. I think either it's this plant taking up the shade or it's taking up all the nutrients. But either way, this bit's died. So any time I try and do this bit, even the old garden, nothing would grow. Like when this plant, before it was cut, I just put plants in this so it used to be the angled border thing. I always died because this took up all the shade, all the sunlight, and it was in the shade. These, I reckon, these flower heads are going to need to be picked. Um, I don't know what this one was like. No, this one's fine, the other one's fine, it's just these ones. These ones are fine, these are still okay. These ones, like, they're droopy. Um, got weed there still. So this bit will all need to be all, like, turned over and weeded and then just, like, new compost. That's what I want to have one too for a while. Um, hello, Bob. She's always sitting here. Like, the other day she was sitting, like, on the rocks or something. Uh... <coughs> I just choked my own saliva. Um, yeah, this bit's got more tall dogs. This bit I can't really get as well with the mower. This is quite awkward. I don't want to sound the plants and there's rocks there. It's, yeah, this is quite awkward. Um, yeah, these these bits here, the patches are mainly from like, the dead cuttings. Um, and I cut it last time. So, yeah, it's not... I'd say the grass seed in the back is actually better quality than this. Well, it's been down there for longer, but it still was in more patches. And I used to cut it shorter and it was fine. This one, uh... Yeah, so hopefully I can get it back looking good eventually. Just make sure people don't walk on it when they walk past or... Because if people stand this too long, I'll just put pressure on it. It will probably just die. I wouldn't be surprised. Say, for example, I was thinking, like, for example, when I holiday, like, now, and this was left for, like, two weeks or whatever, no one watered it, we had no rain. We'd probably come back and it'd just be all dead. It's, like, literally all dead, and it wouldn't come back, and probably covered in weeds. And at that point, I would have given up. I'd probably have to turn it all over, dig up all the new turf, and probably have to either ash or turf, which I wouldn't want to do, um, or just literally just seed it. It's weird, because turf usually works for us, but then... It, the thing is, turf works better for us because we've got cats and they always dig. Like they're always digging in that. So if we put seed, if we seeded all this, this would have probably not grown at all. There'd have been piles of poo everywhere. Um, but yeah, turf always works for us better because it's already grass. It's already like pre grass is already there. You just like laying it on top. Cats aren't going to dig it up. Um, but then after a while, it dies. Usually because the turf we get from other places or where we had it in the past is usually like cut shorter so then like I mean, we always plant it in the summer and then we get like a heat wave and it just kills a bit and then it all just dies but then with seed we can't plant it we can't fill in a tiny little patch without the cat sticking it up so we can't win either way but I guess overseeding if there aren't any like dirt bits that are actually physically turned over like that or something like if this bit was sort of just, like, turned over if it's literally just little tiny holes in the ground like fork holes, and you just do that, then the cat shouldn't do that. You probably find birds really too. So we can't win. But I think if we've done that, then. Yeah. So I want to make it look all green. I want to just have it look good, but they're not typical. We, every year now, we have heat waves or warmer weather, and it kills it all. I mean, you always do it in the. 
problem is, we always do stuff like this when we go into the summer. We never do it in the spring. So, oh God, I've been going for like 12 minutes now. Um, so yeah, I would just like empty this mower. I'll just probably empty it over there where I did with this side bit. Um, just clean that. Get a bit of grass off there. So I want to keep this clean now. Uh, and then just take it back round. I would if dinner wasn't being cooked right now. I would have done that garden next to us where my cat's sitting. But typical, every time I want to try and do it, parents are always in the kitchen. Like when I went out here to start using this mower, they were in the living room. But as soon as I get round to the front, sometimes I take too long like talking when I'm videoing. Or I'm just not quick enough, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just, at some point, I need to cut that. Well, I don't need to, I want to, because they've, people who live there have been doing it like, the whole time. I think, I don't know, did I, do, I probably done it once this year, and that was back in March. I can't remember if I did or not, but I probably did. Um, and that was the petrol mower. So... I might have done it, I might have, but I can't remember. So whatever it was, if I did, then that was the only time I've done it. I just don't feel like I can just, like, if, like, the parents are, like, there, like, in the kitchen or, that, like, they're around where I am, I just don't feel like I can just go and, like, doing stuff. Like, I used to, I could just go out there and just do it, and they don't really care. And, like, me, don't really care. But now, like, if they're there, I just don't want to, like, just be there because they'll say something. But yeah, so I'll empty this bag now, just get rid of that grass bit. Um, and just take it back into the back garden. And probably just sit it next to the uh, other one. Or something. The other one, eventually, once I've done the tests, it will go to the skip. Like, it'll just be taken. So I don't need it anymore. It's not when I have two of the same, pretty much the same thing. When one's like two years older and blades aren't as good, the fire is not as sharp and hasn't got a bag, so. And this is the one I've wanted for a while, so there's no point having two when I'm not gonna like. Since I've got like a twin or something. Um, you can't really sell it without a bag unless no one really cares, but if you had a bag then you probably could, but no. So yeah, I will just um, empty this and. Maybe I'll just go see you in the back garden with the other one. If not, then I'll just see you next time in whenever I am doing something else, which probably won't be for a while. Depends. The front, obviously we've seen that situation. That'll be maybe, if it gets a cut soon, it'll probably be maybe just before we go on holiday in like under two weeks. If not, then maybe after. Because then we get an extra week, and I don't know if it'd be raining here. I don't know. Where's I don't know if it'd be raining here because I won't be here. I'll be up in. I can't remember where we're going. It's somewhere. Some lake or something. I don't know. But yeah. So I won't be able to like see it every day, and it would be getting watered anyway. So I don't know. We'll have to see. See what's nice, see if it's got better or worse. So I'll see you maybe next time.